drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. Now as we begin, team 668 rushing forward to deposit its power cells into the lower power port. All team 1569 Haywire Robotics shoots its power cells toward the outer power port. Two of the three blue Alliance members were able to get off the initialization line. Teams all agree to meet in the middle of the field to try to collect more power cells. Team 668, having grabbed three more, runs back and deposits also the lower power port. Team 1569, Hairwire Robotics, goes back to this loading station so we can get more power cells. Moto, their droid begins to put cells into the upper power horn. Robo types line up to do the same. Team 6968 begins to try to play defense to keep the robo types from being able to line up and do their thing. Team 70, no, 909 is the wing nuts. They too are trying to come over to one interference with the other team. Team 668, the Apes of Wrath, I think, collected more power cells. And definitely deposits those into the lower power. Robots suck up a couple more power cells and line up to send those into the Outer power port. 30 seconds left in the match. The teams are now looking to do the end game climb. 84293, Komodo. It's positioned itself to attempt to climb. That appears to have successfully done so in the middle of the. Team 6844, the prototype has parked itself. Team Pi also has parked itself safely in the field generator. And at the last second, Team 1569 is also able to bring itself in. And how did they come out? They came out with a Blue Alliance victory. Again, the end game points, 45 to 10, made the difference.